good afternoon or good evening in function of where you're based. Hello, everyone, and thank you uh, in name of uh, the European Young Myeloma Patient Group and uh, MP, Myeloma Patient Europe. Very, very hard welcome. Welcome to you all. And uh, thanks uh, to spend 60 minutes with us for this big launch, the launch of our uh, official launch of our group. Um, so before we are starting the meeting, um, and Anna, if you could please share uh, the slides, I would love to give you a couple of um, housekeeping, um, housekeeping um, uh, elements. My name is Vincent Claus, and I'm based in uh, Belgium, but I will introduce myself a little bit later together with the rest of the team. Um, Anna, you can please put the next slide. Um, if you're all okay, we will record this um, this meeting just to be sure that some of our uh, patients could potentially uh, replay the meeting uh, mm -hmm. if they're not able to, uh, to, to join. Uh, so if you don't want to be uh, recognized, if you want to stay anonymous, please um, um, let's say switch your camera and maybe j just change your name if you want, don't want to have your name on the, on the screen. Um, we will yeah, ask you to uh, mute your microphone just to be sure that um, there are no disturbances during the, uh, the, the presentation. But of course, and I hope you will all have a lot of questions. So there's a chat, there's a Q&A, and there will be a Q&A session after the, uh, the presentation. So please make it um, as uh, interactive possible and, and ask a question in the, in the Q&A box. Um, if you have any technical issue to hear, to see something, uh, don't be shy and, and uh, raise your hand. So there is a little hand uh, at the bottom of, of the, uh, the Zoom um uh, the zoom um elements and then you can you will be uh you will be in touch with uh, one of our uh, people to uh, to help you uh, to help you there so um i should say let's start and let's uh, kick off uh, anna um to give you an idea on the agenda but normally you will uh, you 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 have received the agenda as well uh, by mail but um, I will uh, I will launch uh, officially the uh, introduction of uh, of uh, our uh, our meeting. Um, we will introduce ourselves. Who is the group behind uh, EYMG? Uh, um, and then we will have you. You will be able to have a little bit um, an insight about who is uh, Myeloma Patient Europe MP. Uh, I will give the word to uh, to Katie and Kate for that one. Um, and afterwards, yeah, we will present you what the goals are of our group, what are what you can expect from us, and how we will together uh, make it um, a better, uh, a better uh, step by step uh, elements for uh, for the younger patients of uh, of uh, myeloma. Um, afterwards, uh, we will have a Q and A. Uh, so again, don't be shy and uh, ask the questions. Uh, every question you should have. And uh, we will try to, uh, to 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 answer that. We'll close around uh, 6 p.m. We will promise to uh, to respect your timing because we know that uh, it's important that uh, that we can uh, respect that. Yeah, Anna. Um, behind the core team, we are patients or we are patient carers. And uh, I will leave the words uh, one by one to uh, my fellow colleagues. Um, so, Lara, please, um, could you introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm so pleased to, to be here and uh, see such a strong participation in the, this working group. I'm Lara, I'm from Portugal. Uh, I'm the executive director of Portuguese Association Against Leukemia. And I really believe that we can be highly effective, uh, highly effective platform uh, for young patients with multiple myeloma. So welcome everyone. Filipa? Hi, good afternoon to you all. My name is Filipa Lopes. I'm 32 years old and I live in Lisbon, Portugal. So a little bit about me. My academic background is in the field of science and recently I specialized in clinical trials. I'm also a patient. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in March 2021 when I was just 29 years old. 
Last year, I became a, I became a volunteer for the Portuguese Association Against Leukemia and attended the MPE uh, Advocate De Development Program, which allowed me to be involved in several projects related to multiple myeloma. For me, it's an honor to be part of the this core team of this support group, and I hope I can be helpful in any way. Thank you all. Thank you, Filipa. Linda? Hello, everyone. Welcome uh, to the launch event. My name is Linda. Um, so I work as a project manager in our member and patient community programs at MPE. Um, so it's a pleasure to work along with the core team um, and to help them in the work that they're doing. And it's nice to see you all. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. And I'm Vince. I'm based in Belgium. I'm a myeloma patient. I've uh, been diagnosed in 2019. Um, at the age of 48, um, and I think that uh, the colleagues uh, definitely said the right things, and, and for sure Jay uh, pointed out the reason why we find it uh, so important to uh, to have a specific support group for their uh, younger patients. So I'm uh, your uh, main uh, host today, uh, and uh, let's uh, let's go and next. Uh, good. Leave me, uh, allow me to uh, to give the words to uh, to Katie and, and Kate to present you uh, a little bit, who is uh, MPE, basically. Thanks, Vince. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie Joyner. I'm uh, a co-CEO at Myeloma Patients Europe. Um, I've been at MPE for the last four years. I'm originally from the United States, but I live in Munich. And we are so excited to um, officially launch this group today. We're so grateful for the time and dedication and efforts of the core team and Linda for bringing this forward. Um, MP really wants to make sure that we're supporting the needs of all myeloma patients. And after um, speaking with the, the core group for, uh, I think now maybe several months, almost a year about this, it was really clear that there was a, a distinct need for something like this in Europe. And we're so glad to be able to bring that to fruition today. So I'll just give you a brief overview for of MP for those who aren't um, familiar with us. Next slide, thanks. Um, so MP started in 2011, so we're about 13 years old. We started as a very small volunteer-run organization and slowly over time um, have become uh, a professional and uh, multidisciplinary international team. And our mission is really to provide education and information and support to our members. So we're a member organization um, and to make sure that um, the national organizations that we work with have the tools and resources they need to advocate effectively and to support patients um, every day in the work um, in, the, in their lives and in, in living with myeloma and alamelidosis. And we also represent um, patient needs at a European level with stakeholders like um, pharmaceutical companies, payers, industry, um, clinicians, uh, but it's really that work that we do with the national organizations to make uh, make sure that patients are getting the, the tools and resources and care that they need um, on a daily basis. Next slide. So here's a, a map of our current members. Right now we have 49 members representing 31 countries in Europe and a few further afield, including um, Armenia and uh, Turkey and um, Israel, as well as Canada. And in countries where we don't yet have a member, we work with the local patient population or the local uh, clinical community to make sure that we're still um, raising the voices and experiences of those patients at, at a European level. Next slide. Here's a, a picture of our board. We have um, seven board members, um, and our board is made up of myeloma patients, uh, carers, um, and patient advocates uh, from Germany, Finland, Israel, Norway, Sweden, and Poland. Uh, most of our board is connected also to the national patient community, so they really bring the perspectives and needs of, um, of their national organizations to the work um, that MPE does. Next slide. And here is a picture of our team. Uh, so we um, now have 13 team members with the uh, recent addition of Monica um, in our access and policy um, uh, work stream. Uh, and uh, we 
we represent um, several work streams that Kate will go into a bit about the work that we do, uh, but we're an international team. And I think uh, we're really dedicated to working with our members and supporting um, the patient community and, and what they need. And so if um, you need anything, you can always reach out to uh, any member of the team and hopefully you'll get to know us in the various projects and programs that, that we operate and that you might get further involved in. Um, next slide. And now I'll turn it over to Kate to talk a bit about our programs. Great. Thank you, Katie. And um, so, hi, everyone. My name is Kate Morgan, and I'm the other co-chief executive here at MPE. I've worked here for about six years now um, and take a big lead on the work that we do on access um, to diagnosis and treatment and care. Um, we're really pleased to be launching um, this program today because um, the provision of information and support for younger patients is a huge area of unmet need. I mean, if you have any questions or, or feedback for the team after this, then please let us know. Um, I'll just talk you through um, a few of our core programs um, before handing back to Vince. But firstly, um, I just wanted to tell you about our access policy and regulatory programs. So as an organisation, um, we really aim to um, make sure that patients have access to the best treatment and care across Europe and also represent their interests at a national level as well as European. Um, and we really do that through evidence generation. So we have a program called the Myeloma Access Atlas, where we, we try and map access um, to new drugs in myeloma and, and really advocate for the reduction of inequalities across Europe. And um, we do a lot of work with policymakers at a European level, um, and we aim to support our members in doing the same at a national level too. Um, and we, um, we have a program specifically for Central and Eastern European members um, where we, we aim to um, identify and address some of the, the core challenges faced um, within the region. And because we know there are specific access issues with trials in medicines. Um, next slide, please. In terms of um, uh, the next um, pillar of our work is the med medical education and scientific engagement. And through this, we really aim to promote scientific progress to address the greatest unmet needs in myeloma. And we also aim to educate and inform our members and also myeloma patients and their families about the latest developments in myeloma in access to clinical trials. Um, a core program that we'll be launching in the coming months is the Myeloma in Amyloidosis Clinical Trial Navigator, which um, will be an online platform and um, a sort of searchable tool for patients to see what trials are available in their countries and also what trials are available across Europe. And um, so you should keep an eye out for that on our on our website um, and through our social media channels as well. Other um, core programs under this um, pillar of our work are educational resources. And so we have um, sort of written fact sheets for, for patients um, and carers on um, the, the newest treatments in myeloma. And we also aim to update on the, the big conferences that we attend, like the European Hematology Association and the American Society of Hematology. Um, and also a big campaign that we're running at the minute is around raising awareness of myeloma um, and also of AL amyloidosis with GPs to make sure that they know what the signs are um, and also the tests that they should be conducting if they suspect someone has um, myeloma and amyloidosis as well, um, because that's really important. And it's a lot of feedback we get from patients is that they experience um, quite lengthy delays before being diagnosed. Um, so if you're, if you're interested in hearing more about that, um, ask a member of staff or look at our website. Um, next slide, please. Another um, important um, aspect of our work is patient evidence. Um, through this department, we really aim to identify um, the biggest unmet needs for myeloma patients um, and to inform um, sort of data-driven decision-making um, by MPE um, and by external stakeholders, um, such as regulators um, and industry as well. And we do this through generating evidence on patient needs and preferences. An example is um, last year we ran um, a huge survey um, which involved over 600 patients on early diagnosis um, where we have we have some really robust data on the pathways to diagnosis for patients um, and their experience which we use with, with a range of different stakeholders. Um, we recently did a study on um, MRD in myeloma and patient and healthcare professional perspectives on where we are on that in Europe. And finally, um, we have a, a number of ongoing surveys, um, which um, you'll hear a lot about 
around um, administration preferences in myeloma. And um, so where do patients um, want to receive their treatments and how? Um, and, and that's an ongoing survey available in a range of different languages that if you're interested in participating in, you can see on our website as well. And, and we're also um, currently trying to map uh, patient perspectives on shared decision making and kind of what that involves in, in how that should look for myeloma patients. Next slide, please. <clears throat> and finally, and importantly, we have member and patient community programs. Um, and through this, we really aim to uh, build the capacity of the myeloma and amyloidosis advocacy communities and educate and inform um, and ensure that we, we are a strong collaborative community. Um, a core example of that, um, which has been already been mentioned, is the Advocate Development Programme, where we aim to, um, to educate um, new advocates who are interested in learning more about how to get involved around um, clinical development um, and access to medicines. Uh, another um, example is the, um, the MPE Masterclass, where all of our members um, once a year come together to meet and discuss the latest um, developments and topics and themes in myeloma and amyloidosis and make sure we share information and best practice. Um, and finally, um, the scholarship programme, where we, we fund our, our members' um, kind of programmes and initiatives at a national level. And finally, um, a date for your calendars is the um, 27th of September each year, which is European Myeloma Day, where we aim to have a big sort of awareness raising campaign. And over the past few years, we focused on early diagnosis. And so keep an eye out um, for that over the coming year. And next slide, please. OK, um, and, and without further ado, I'll, I'll hand uh, back to Vince um, to, to take you through the next slides. But again, welcome to the meeting and thank you so much for participating. Yeah, thank you, uh, Katie and, and, and Kate, for uh, this explanation. And we're very, uh, uh, very grateful that 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 MP is behind us to to the group in order to uh, to support what we want to um, to deploy for uh, for for you for us all as uh, as patients. So it, it allow me to give you um, uh, in the next couple of slides um, some some uh, tips on on the goals we want to uh, to reach and share with you where. Where, what what we really uh, want to uh, to to deploy for for you all. Uh, next slide, please. Um, basically, um, and you maybe heard that or read that they we are under the 65 years old, um, almost 37 percent of all the myeloma patients. So it's 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 really a minority of all the patients uh, uh, of myeloma, and that's exactly one of the important elements that that we want to point out. We are in minority, but we need some uh, specific uh, um, uh, answers to questions that we have, issues that we have, and maybe that are not uh, today uh, pointed out uh, like uh, like we would love uh, to to have. If we are looking into the age of fifty, uh, ten percent only ten percent of the myeloma patients are under the fifty year um, uh, the age of fifty, which is which is really uh, really. Uh, um, not not a lot, and that's why we want to provide support with our group to you, uh, to these youngest myeloma patients, and she pointed out as well uh, a little bit earlier in uh, in his presentation. Next uh, slide, please. Um, the reason or the reasons behind the creation of this group, um, next to the personal experience that we all have in the in the core group. Uh, of, of missing some some elements, but I've been looking into um, a couple of, of publications and uh, recently, uh, I mean, in, in June uh, last year, there have been a publication from uh, from the US uh, pointing out uh, around around the younger myeloma patients. And um, I, I, I wanted to uh, give you some clear statement that they've been uh, that they've been uh, uh, um, giving. Um, the number of young male patients is tending to uh, to grow slightly, and this is basically one of the fact that that this number is growing is due to the fact that we are um, a little bit early uh, diagnosed, which is basically good. So um, as as soon as we can be diagnosed, the better it is for us uh, and 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 for the treatment that we can have. So this number, this thirty seven percent or ten percent, is slightly tending to 
uh, uh, grow um, uh, significantly. So um, we have also, um, we see that the, the, the young malama patients in the literature are underrepresented, uh, definitely. So if we are looking into the different studies that we have uh, available on the web or or um, in, in the um, overall literature, we see that, that we, the young patients are underrepresented and is uh, again an important element for us to say, hey, that's, that's something that we would like to work on. Um, we apparently are uh, uh, tending to better tolerate treatments uh, and, and without or with less discontinuation of the treatment. And that's a big difference that uh, that that we have with the uh, a little bit older patients who uh, have a lot of difficulties in, in in their treatments as well. So of course, if we are younger, if you are a little bit fitter, uh, we are better uh, uh, in state to uh, uh, to to go uh, under uh, some some treatments and some uh, some heavy treatments. So again, that's that's another uh, important element as well. Clinical trials, um, important, and, um, and Kate pointed out as well, uh, clinical trials, we have a lot of around uh, multiple myeloma as well, and specifically for, uh, it's, it's, it's a very good hope for uh, the younger patient as well. Um, if, if, if I'm looking at personal uh, experience, I'm, I'm uh, under a clinical trial, and, and it's um, almost five years that, that I have the same treatment, so um, yeah, it's 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 hopeful if we're looking into uh, into all the, the the clinical trials that are uh, at disposal. It is definitely something that uh, that we would like to um, uh, to to discuss, to point it out, as well in the mind of having the same kind of approach for clinical trials across the different countries in Europe, because we know that it's something uh, a little bit more difficult in Eastern and Central Europe, for instance. So this is something that where we would like to uh, to, to, to have uh, uh, the support as well. Um, and of course, it seems that we have, uh, we tend to have a uh, longer and hopefully a better uh, life expectation that, that uh, older people. So next to the support that we want to give uh, to, uh, to you all, to, to, to us all, we would like to see together with MPE how we could leverage and, and, and the power that MPE has in terms of lobbying to answer all these questions and trying to have a little bit more spots on the younger uh, myeloma patients uh, across Europe. So definitely on one side, support, direct support to you all, but as well, uh, how we can uh, how we can lobby and how we can uh, uh, make that that we put a little bit more lights on uh, on on the younger uh, um, uh, myeloma patients. Next slide, please. What is um, European Young Myeloma Patient Group? And for sure, what is not? And allow me to start with what we are not. Definitely, we're not uh, an alternative for your patient group uh, where you are um, probably, uh, you've been subscribed and, and uh, Katie presented, uh, 31 countries where um, there are a support group, 49 uh, different groups in, in, in the different countries. This, these groups are the first touch point that you have and hopefully you, you, you stay in touch with, with your group. So we don't aim to replace uh, uh, your local uh, in the country, your local uh, support group. Definitely not. We want to add an extra dimension to the group and to the local local uh, community that, that, that you have together with the other myeloma patient in, in your country. So um, again, and I emphasis that this is, this is not an alternative for, for the group that you are in today. Uh, and for sure, we have a group representative in, in, the, um, in our core group. So just to be sure that uh, it's not one or the other, but it's a combination of the two and together we will be stronger. Um, so again, yeah, we are a community of, uh, of European uh, less than 50, 55 years myeloma patients. Yeah, we had to point a, an age on that one, but uh, is it 56? Uh, meanwhile, within two years, I will be over 50 years, so uh, 55. So um, we decided um, to start with only in English forum. We hope that uh, we will able to join you all and, and to have a conversation in English. We, we stated that a lot of younger people are 
able to uh, manage the, the, the English, uh, English language. We will see in the future, but at the very first stage, we will remain to communicate in, in English. We, uh, we will, and uh, hopefully it's, uh, it's, uh, it's okay for, uh, for, for all of you. Um, interactive, and I pointed out at the very beginning of, of this presentation, so don't be shy, please. We need the experience as well. So we are not, I'm not a professional. Uh, and, and and so are my my fellow colleagues in in the group. We are not professionals, so we feel and we know some elements that we think that it would be helpful for you. But make it uh, make it interactive. Ask the question and and and, uh, and and request maybe some elements that you think that could this could be interesting for uh, for the group. By the way, I'm coming uh, back to you um, uh, to uh, our core group. We are open to some of you if you want to join the core group and for sure if we're talking about Central or eastern europe be your guest to join the the the, um, the core group to uh, to help us uh, uh, pulling this uh, this project together with us so uh, i forgot to mention that uh, earlier um and we are a team uh, who are um who is searching for professionals so you will see we will try to give you on a recent on a uh, um uh, every quarter um to give you an idea on 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 the subject and and to touch upon a topic, and we will try to find each time a professional who could uh, give us uh, a good visibility on 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 the problematic on or the issue that we could have. So we will try to uh, to to work together with the MP, of course, to to find the best professionals to uh, uh, to touch the points that uh, and the, the the topics that we want to uh, to touch with you all. So, like I said, we're not uh, an alternative, so, um, and we won't be able first. But we don't want to give uh, medical advice. This is not the goal. This is really not the goal of our group. So, I saw a couple of Facebook group, um, Facebook groups, where some are um, um, posting their uh, blood uh, analyses and uh, asking for uh, for uh, advice. We won't do that. So please don't do that in in that forum. Uh, we are not again. We're not professionals, so we're not aiming to give you uh, any advice. And I think this is not the right place to do that. So if you want to have an advice, please uh, go to your GP or go, go to your uh, hematologist. Um, this is not the the, the right place to uh, to give advice. Of course, you can share your experience. Of course, but uh, don't don't ask for advice, nor to uh, to the team or to your uh, fellow. Uh, patients in the group uh, and we are of course not a top down uh, so we are here for you it's 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 a very flat organization so please uh, share your experience and 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 be part of the group uh, and and, uh, and and make uh, make uh, your voice uh, and, and and so that we uh, we are all growing uh, together in in uh, in this group so we are all learning just like I said next slide please Anna um Having thought with the uh, with the um, with the members of the core group, we pointed out a couple of topics that we thought it could be interesting to uh, to touch upon uh, at the very first stage. But of course, this list is not final. Uh, if I'm looking in, into the list, I could, uh, for instance, start with uh, a finance. And Jay pointed out as well, uh, we have to pay a house. Uh, so finance is, is one of the important uh, topics as well. But um, on top of that, we, we, we have some, some very specific uh, topics that if we're 65, that we absolutely don't have. Uh, look, for instance, at fertility. Uh, uh, and of course, if, if we have patients around 20, 25, 30, 35, that are thinking uh, uh, about having babies, they're thinking about having uh, children, how can we manage that uh, uh, with, uh, with the fact that, that we're, that we're uh, under the disease of myeloma? How can we manage that? And this is, for instance, one of the elements that we want to uh, to point it out and and to help you uh, with um, the communication. Um, again, personal experience. Um, I had a little boy of eleven at the point of time. How do you manage the communication with with the children, with the family? Uh, you you just heard that that you, that you are sick, and and it's 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 horrible to hear. And you have on top of that to manage little boys or little girls and and you have to share that experience with with the with the children how do you dare that who do how do you do that so 
uh, again, we'll try to find the, the best professional to share the best tips and the best uh, tricks to you to to engage the communication with with your uh, with your children with your family getting getting questions from the family getting questions for the children from the colleagues how do you want to uh, to manage with that i think this is quite a, a, important about your career about your work having the right balance between being sick going to treatments but still having some some ambition in 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 your work uh, uh you need to work of course so how can we balance that and how can we find the best balance again i think it's 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 quite important to to have tips and tricks on 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 that one um the same for sports very important for us uh to to stay fit uh at every single stage if possible uh of course so what do we have to do uh, in terms of sports what do we have to do in terms of well-being uh, again, having the right balance in in, in well-being, uh, a right mindset. Uh, so um, very very important for us uh, as well, the sport and and the well-being. Last but not least, and again, this is not a, a final list, and it's not a, a, a all the items that we would like to to share with you. But uh, the nutrition, uh, very important as well for us. Um, what what's what's good, what's less good. Um, how do we uh, do we have to uh, to manage that together with the treatment that we have and so on and so forth. So you see, this is typically some elements that um, I wouldn't say this is, yeah, I, I would say this is very, very specific for the younger patients. Uh, and for sure, if you are looking at fertility, uh, communication, career, uh, these are the topics that we're not talking together with with uh, uh, people of 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 a uh, age of 65 70 years yeah and and you you all know this is our disease is typically a disease of 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 older people so we need to touch base the, these points and the touch base these uh, these topics together and having uh, an idea on how we can manage that yes anna please so um, basically, um, we started in December with uh, our group and, and we started the sub uh, sites where you all uh, subscribed and, and thank, thanks for that. Uh, and at the same time, we launched a Facebook page. Um, what we see is that uh, you were massively subscribing on, on the, uh, the sub site and, and thanks for that. And, and it means that it means a lot for us because it means that that it's important for you. So uh, thank you for that. So um, we 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 had a lot of, of subscription on the uh, on the sub site, but we see that uh, you are not all subscribed on the Facebook page. So I would um, I would ask you, and uh, it's coming a little bit later in the presentation. Please go onto the Facebook page, um, subscribe yourself on the Facebook page, and 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 share your experience, and we we can uh, we can have uh, some some interaction uh, there as well. Today, the official kickoff, the official start, and the presentation of our group and 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 what we stand for. So I hope it's 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 quite clear, uh, a little bit clearer for you all uh, what what we want to uh, to to reach together with you. Um, so this is it was uh, for us and it is for us a very important day, of course. And uh, in April uh, we will start with the first uh, webinar. I will come back uh, a little bit later on uh, that one. Yes, Anna, please. So, um, how could you help us? Um, and if you help us, you help you. Uh, you help yourself, of course. Uh, this this is uh, this is this is quite important. Just like I said, just like I mentioned. Please, this is a private Facebook Facebook group, so we we, we make it uh, it's it's a very close group. So uh, please uh, join join us on on Facebook. We'll share the uh, um, the link. So um, please join and 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 start the interaction with uh, with your fellow uh, uh, patients uh, and 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 your colleagues. Um, we will have a poll uh, at the end of the uh, of this uh, of this session, which is almost uh, finished. We are pretty much good on time. Um, we will ask you uh, to vote. So we, we we thought it would be great to have your votes and to see what matters the most for you in different topics that uh, that I just summed up a, a little bit uh, a little bit earlier. So. We will touch base all the all the elements in, in function of the timing, but 
we would like you to vote and, and to say, hey, this is really for me the, the, the top number one uh, topic that I would like to uh, uh, to touch base. And uh, in base in, in function of your vote, we will uh, we will have the very first um, um, uh, session in April. So stay tuned. We will send you the uh, agenda blocker of of course. Um, and uh, so we will have the first session uh, within a, a couple of months. And then every single quarter we will have. We we started with one once a quarter, but we will see uh, together with you again if you want to have a little bit uh, quicker some some inputs or um, if you say no no uh, let's uh, make it uh, twice a year we will reason and, and regularly uh, touch base with you to to have your uh, advice and and your uh, your feedback uh, again uh, give us some feedback please uh, again we are not uh, a professional I'm not talking about a, the, the people of MPE who are professionals but we are in the in, in the group uh, in the support group, we are not professional, so please give us uh, your 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 feedback. Uh, this is this is for you. We are here for you. We are here for us also. It uh, it has to be uh, it has to be positive for you uh, as well. Um, like I said, if you want to be part of the team, please uh, be our guest. Uh, we um, uh, we are uh, welcoming you, of course, in the in the, in the core group. Uh, and and for sure, like I said, Central Eastern Europe. We know that there. A couple of, of extra, uh, uh, let's say, um, not issues, but 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 specific uh, elements there in, in in those countries. So it would be good to have someone uh, from from this side of uh, of, of Europe. Um, and if you know some professionals who could present something in in terms of the topics that we want to touch base with you. Please share. Please share the name. Uh, I, I mean, uh, we are we are not uh, looking. Uh, we we have some names, of course. We have we have some some network, but you probably have network as well. So if you know some professionals who could drive a session for us all, be your guest and and, and share the name with uh, with us also. Uh, we will be very happy to uh, to welcome these uh, these professional to uh, to present the session, right? Um, so I think yes, uh, Anna, you can. Right, so just like I said, uh, stay tuned. We will have the uh, the first session uh, uh, somewhere in uh, in April, probably the same kind of timing. So around five five p.m. Uh, there again. I hope that it's 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 good for you all. If 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 it has to be uh, five p.m. is Central Europe, of course. Uh, if if it's uh, if it has to be a little bit later, just let us know uh, to be sure that 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 we reach you all. I think it's uh, again important that uh, that you can join and uh, and that you can have the information that you uh, that you deserve. Yes. Um, so we will launch the poll. Um, if the next yes, uh, I think you can. I don't know where. Yeah, we all already have votes, but that's that's okay. <laughs> we we make a test before uh, before the call, so uh, uh, no problem. So um, grab your phone if possible, and um, with the camera of your phone, you can um, you can scan the um, uh, the the code that you have there and uh, and the top left of your screen and then you will get to the page of slido and you will be able to vote for your top number one uh, item that you would like us to uh, uh, to to reach with uh, with a, a professional so and we'll have now let's say uh, until april to find the best speaker for you uh, in function of of the um, of of the of the topic that uh, that that you would lo love to have, and again you see you have there five. Um, I touch base about finance as well. I think it's it could be important that we we add that as uh, on the list as well. But again, if you have tips uh, about some topics that you, you would love to uh, uh, to to touch base with us, uh, please uh, send us an, send us an. Uh, a message and uh, we will be very uh, very happy to uh, to head at, uh, at this one so we have uh, 12 voters as uh, we speak uh linda correct me from we have about 40 people yes. on the call so yeah we have yeah. 44 on the call but we great. only 16 votes. Great to see you. 
But we can keep the poll active um, and we can also send the link out via email if people would like to continue to vote. Great. And um, maybe it would be a, good, a great idea to put a poll on the, on the Facebook on the Facebook group as well. So um, maybe for the people who want to vote afterwards. Um, I hope you don't have any issue connecting to Slido. If well, please raise your hand so that we can help you. Your vote is important to us. So um, very important that you, uh, you are able to, uh, to vote as well. Um, meanwhile, uh, Linda, do we have questions in the... Um... Not yet. Not yet? No. Maybe someone wants to uh, to take the lead and, and ask a question, or was it very, very clear for, for you all? Hi, my name is Eva. I'm calling from uh, Germany. Hi, Eva. Hi, and so I'm 45 now. I was 42 when I was diagnosed um, with amyloidosis as well. So another topic that I'd be interested in is the likelihood occurrence of secondary cancers since we Very seem good. to be at a increased risk, um, either through the lenalidomide that increases the risk of it or just because of the diagnosis itself. Um, there's something that's constantly on the back of my mind. Very good point, Eva. Very, very good point, absolutely. Thank you for that. Does someone else want to? Um... I think there is one one participant that can manage to vote. Okay. May I? Sure, Gay. Yeah, please. Um, just to how are you going to communicate with the national organizations? Is this will we have to go on the um, on the MPE, or are you going to keep them aware of what you uh, would like or what you're doing? Uh, in in all these countries, Kitty, may I may I leave that that question to you? Sure. So, Gay, is the question how kind of how this works with MPE, basically? Uh, yes, I mean I mean uh, when there's something because you know we we are going well we try to of course to aware uh, to make it aware to everyone within mm -hmm. our mem members to our members, yeah. but. Um, I just wanted to know, how are you going to communicate with us? Sure. Um, so Linda, jump in if I miss anything. But I think the idea is that um, MPE will continue to communicate about the um, the group through our membership. So you would receive that as an MPE member through our communications. But everyone who registered for this group and who's registered separately for the Facebook group will also continue to receive direct emails and other communication from Linda and the core team about the webinars and other events like that. So everyone who signed up and is here today and has signed up online for the um, kickoff event will get email communications about the next webinar. All right, because I'm not sure we've been a wa uh, uh, warned that uh, there was something going on. Um, I've got the chance that uh, Vincent mm. made it clear to us, but I'm not sure we did get something through MPE. Okay, because we would have left it. In, I mean, it's in our newsletter and on our social media, but if, if it's helpful, we can always email you directly with updates on our programs and things like that, whatever the oh, best nice. way is yeah. to communicate, we're happy to do that um, yeah. with our members because I know things can, there's a lot going on. So sometimes it's easy to miss things. Okay. Um, but with, if that would be helpful, Linda can email you directly so that you can share that with your members. Thank you. Any other question or remark? <clears throat> Does someone from the uh, the group, the core group, want to say something before? I think you were very clear in your presentation. Yes. Apparently, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of questions. So, uh... <laughs> I just would like to add something for all of you for in Europe, in Europe, huh? um, that uh, Dr. Françoise Meunier, 
Uh, next week we'll have uh, uh, next week yes next week we'll have uh, a session in um, in Brussels on discrimination against cancer survivors. So this means you know when you want to have, as you said at the very beginning, Vincent, um, if you want to have a loan for a new house, uh, you're young, you you are, uh, you have cancer. Well, she's fighting for that and. Um, several countries already in Europe have uh, have signed so that you, you are not um, discriminated uh, by the banks to get a loan. And uh, this is very, very important, as, especially for young people. And that's going to take place next week uh, on, the fifth, on the 15th, if I remember well. Um, so, uh, and that's concerning Europe. Yeah, 15th, next week. If you, if you want to have the information, I can I can send them to you. Thank you. Again. So it's yeah. the right to be forgotten. <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. And she was the CEO. She's been the CEO for the um, EORTC uh, for many, many, many years. <clears throat> Good. Uh, I think that a couple of, of, of uh, people um, added some some topics uh, elements on, on the chat thank you for that we we, we definitely will add to uh, to the list of course uh, and meantime I, I see that we posted the uh, the poll on, on the Facebook group as well um, so um, I'll leave it up to a couple of extra seconds just to be sure that if someone has a question or before the closing uh, closing of the call. No further question. Okay, let me, a name of, of European Young Myeloma Patient, NMP, let me thank you all for your time. Uh, it was um, it was great to see that a lot of people were uh, have been joining. Um, I have to say, I, I wouldn't expect so many of you. So I'm, I'm really, um, I'm, I'm really happy if, if we may be happy in, the, in these circumstances, but it means that that it means something for you, uh, and uh, that, that it means that 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 we uh, we cho we've chosen the right path to uh, to uh, uh, try uh, supporting you uh, you all. So please um, stay tuned. You will get uh, very soon a news from us for the first uh, sessions, which means which apparently will be a, a, around nutrition. Uh, we will see if if the uh, if the poll will be changing uh, on, on on the Facebook. But as we have uh, uh, yeah, 20, 25 uh, vote, uh, voting participants, we see that nutrition seems to be very important to uh, to you all. So of course we will try to find the best uh, the best. And I think I have already an idea on who could potentially be an ICKD doing. <laughs> I think we 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 are thinking about the same the same person. So um, definitely we uh, we already have someone who, who could. Have Help us uh, all to uh, to have the right uh, the right pitch to uh, to to help your nutrition. So um, we'll leave you ten minutes uh, extra. So a warm warm thank you, uh, and again uh, welcome in uh, in our group and uh, uh, stay uh, stay uh, stay in touch. Uh, we will come back uh, on you and um, very very soon, and uh, keep strong. Thank you.